of people <coughs> asking about what I run all this software on, um, Ubuntu and various different other Linux distributions like Dragon OS and so on. This is a small server from uh, Supermicro, this main board, an X11 SVV I think it is. I like Supermicro main boards because you don't need any um, enterprise licenses or fees to pay if you want to upgrade the BIOS, which you might have to do with an HP server. So it's a very simple, <coughs> low-powered server. It takes 9 watts when it's doing nothing and the maximum power loads probably 70 or 80 watts with an i7 um, Series 6 CPU, <coughs> 32 gigabytes of RAM, and it's running Proxmox virtualization host, so Type 1 hypervisor. But what's unusual probably is uh, putting things like this into it. There's now two antenna sockets. I just added a second SDR, just came in the post a few minutes ago, a new ELEC SDR. Uh, can you see the logo on the side? Yeah, just about on this one. They get extremely hot though, <coughs> and these little heat sinks help. It wasn't quite enough, so I put a much bigger, fatter heat sink on here. You can't really see it because it's black. And this is double sided heat conducting sticky tape. <coughs> so I mount those two SDR receiver dongles on there, and then the USB cable, which I've got in my hand with ferrites on it, of course, for blocking RF noise. Those connect from the <coughs> USB ports on the receivers down to a dual USB adapter that plugs into the uh, front panel USB socket <coughs> on the main board. So I've got those two that go to here. And then I can then feed those, pass them through using Proxmox to two different virtual machines. So I can run things like OpenWebRx um, or whatever I want, SDR++ I like, and uh, some of the Meshtastic monitoring software as well. Um, all runs in this little box. So that's my favorite little server for the moment. <coughs>